In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with Dear friends, today we'd like to remember and pray for the following intentions. We remember Brayden G. Nonglao, who celebrates his birthday. We ask the Lord to bless him today and every day of his life, and all his intentions. We remember and pray for the good health of these people. Gregory Fankin, Dorethi Downlita Bamon, Susan Tariang, Tilibor Wajri, Mary Kinsaidor Dakarthmar, Ibandri Karshing, Lidora Dakar and family. We ask the Lord to touch all these people, keep them in good health and bless all their intentions. We also remember and pray for the intentions of Dantor He Dakar, Ambrose, Leticia and Moses for their studies. We remember the pre novices of our Salvation Congregation who are beginning their retreat. We also like to remember for the retreat that we have coming on the 21st and 22nd of this month. We pray that these become an experience and these people, their intentions surrender to the Lord. We also remember the departed souls of Brother Pacifico, Edward Sothun, Rosa Salberis, Karl. Bingar. We remember the father of one of our teachers, Sir Avi Glinto from the Department of English, his father Anuj Dekha, who expired yesterday. We remember and pray. Also, the father of Father Thomas Pudu Parambil. Let's also bring all of the prayers and intentions that we have to this altar. Today, the 6th of August, we keep the feast of the Transfiguration. The Lord transfigured on Mount Tabor an experience of his glory. Every Eucharist is this transformation that should take place in us because God, Christ, Jesus, in his body and blood transfigures himself unto us. Let's pray that becomes truly like that, a modern experience in his glory, that God alone is with us. We carry to this altar all that is not divine in us, around us, in our communities, in our families, so the Lord may unite us, the Lord may transform us and make us truly to feel his glory within and experience his presence always with us. We turn to the Lord asking pardon for all our sins. <clears throat> Trusting in his mercy we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call us sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty Lord have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Page 646. Glory to God. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Let us pray that the Lord may transform us from within. O God, who in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, Jesus, confirmed the mysteries of faith by the witness of the fathers and wonderfully prefigured our full adoption to sonship, grant we pray to your servants that listening to the voice of your only beloved Son, we may merit to become co-heirs with him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. As I looked, thrones were placed, and the Ancient of Days took his seat. His clothing was white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flames, its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and came out from before him. A thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. I saw in the night visions, and behold, with the clouds of heaven, there came one like a son of man, and he came to the ancient of days, and was presented before him. And to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom, that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, which shall not pass away, and his kingdom one that shall not be destroyed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response. The Lord is King most high above all the earth. The Lord, the Lord is, is King, King most high above all the earth. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Cloud and darkness surround him, justice and right are the foundation of his throne. Your response. The Lord is King most high above all the earth. The mountains melt like wax before the face of the Lord before the face of the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice, all peoples see his glory. Your response. The Lord is King most high of all the earth. For you indeed are the Lord most high above all the earth, exalted far above all gods. Your response. The Lord, the Lord is King most high of all the earth. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we were eyewitnesses of his majesty. For when he received honor and glory from God the Father, and the voice was borne to him by the majestic glory. This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this very voice born from heaven, for we were with him in the holy mountain, and we have the prophetic word more fully confirmed, to which you will do well to pay attention and to a lamp shining in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Please stand.
This is my beloved son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Chapter 9, verses 2 to 10. Jesus took with him Peter, James, and John and led him, led them up a high mountain where they could be alone by themselves. There, in their presence, he was transfigured. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than any earthly bleacher could make them. Elijah appeared to them with Moses, and they were talking with Jesus. Then Peter spoke to Jesus, Rabbi, he said, it is wonderful for us to be here. So let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Peter did not know what to say. They were so frightened and a cloud came covering them in shadow. And there came a voice from the cloud. This is my son, beloved, listen to him. Then suddenly, when they looked around, they saw no one with them, but Jesus only. As they came down from the mountain, Jesus warned them to tell no one what they had seen until after the Son of Man had risen from the dead. They observed the warning faithfully Though among themselves they discussed what rising from the dead would mean. The Gospel of the Lord. We celebrate today the feast of the Transfiguration. Of course, if it comes on a Sunday, Usually we have two readings, but we took the two readings today, meaningful. The word that is spoken by Jesus there is, or the Lord is, listen to him. And that is the only instruction that is to be kept in our mind. The Feast of Transfiguration occurs, it is reported in all the three Gospels, Synoptic, Matthew, Mark and Luke. Of course, John refers to it in his first chapter, verse 14, he says, We have seen his glory and tasted it up in the mountain. And Peter, who was also at the event, we have today's reading, Peter narrating how we have seen and beheld the glory up in the mountain. It's good to put the context Matthew Mark puts in the correct chronological order of the event. Mark, we heard today from chapter 9, if it was Matthew, year A would be from chapter 17. And it happens in the context of a lot of opposition that happens. The build-up is opposition from the crowd, opposition from the Pharisees. It is then that Peter takes, Jesus takes up the disciples, what we heard the other day, to Philipp, Caesarea Philippi and asks, who do you say, who do you people say? And there is a confirmation and that he would die going up to Jerusalem. And when he says that, the disciples are a little sad that their Lord, with whom of course apostles felt great walking around, apart from all other things, would be away from them. And it is then that he takes up this tree up the mountain. I asked someone, which is easier, going up the mountain or coming down the mountain? It seems climbing up is, of course, difficult, but more healthier. Coming down is easier, but not, the, not more healthy. All right. So why this? Three, Peter, James and John. James and John are brothers. And I think the three are very important. What is called the inner circle of Jesus or the core of Jesus of the twelve are taken up. There is a reason, I believe. The reason is this. These three would will have a special role to play. Peter, who would be the leader, though he will run away. Here he likes to be, but he will run away at another point of glory. James would be the one who would be martyred first when he sees the sword of Herod raised above him. I believe looking at he will also see the glory that he tasted at Mount Tabor. And 
John who would be standing alone at another mountain Calvary when the Lord is hung on nails and he will understand this is the true glory and the table is the resurrection that awaits dear friends mountains are very important in scripture we know every mountain is an experience of prayer and the call is to climb up there is a lot of study done between the mount of tabor where transfiguration takes place and also another mountain in the old testament the mountain of sinai where moses experienced god and if you look read the two passages together it's parallel ditto jesus goes up here the new moses and there the moses and wonderful how three people here and there to moses takes up three people and the cloud the glory everything let's make a comparison between another two mountains the mount of tabor and another mountain mount of calvary <clears throat> may not be comparisons of similarities but comparison of differences and there is i'm sure at mount a table for peter it was wonderful to be here because he liked the glory around and he saw moses and elijah it's also in, uh, important why that these two appear we have been reading these days from the book of exodus numbers and how moses who led this big crowd and did the favor for the lord would not taste or put his foot on promised land i always wondered why but here maybe the lord said no you will put your foot down when the messiah comes and he is there at the promised land and moses and elijah you know one accusation against jesus was that he is against the mosaic law and he is breaking all the teachings and the old testament so moses the law giver elijah the prophet signifying the entire old testament old testament and here the two are there to affirm the lord and confirm and make his mission affirmed in their presence and that was the main accusation against let's come back to the two mountains tabor and calvary when we look we find one is in glory the other one does not look so glorious it is in pain in one the lord is glorified the other is crucified in pain in mount tabor his clothes are dazzling white here mount calvary he is almost clothless nothing the other side peter was in glory he liked to be here but calvary we don't find him he has already run away moses and elijah the two who appeared mount calvary to two appeared but not prophets to thieves they were by his side hanging because that was his mission to save the ones who are lost and here we have the wonderful saying listen to him he is my beloved and the words wonderfully said especially mark chapter 16 it is the centurion who says truly he is the son of god dear friends when we compare i'm sure all of us like to be on mount tabor the the hill of glory it is wonderful to be here wonderful to stay here but we need to walk down the mountain and taste the pains the sufferings and the daily crosses of our life i'm sure in our own life in our own families we have days of glory mount tabor experience when the lord is close when the lord walks by us gives us tremendous blessings all that we pray for but there are also days mountains of calvary when we may be crucified when the lord may be truly absent when things do not go our own ways abandoned accused sickness death near and dear ones away do we really find the lord will we find the glory of the lord even then and that will happen only we have this experience of glory and what is the mountain that we must climb so that it can sustain us in our moments of calvary and that is the mountain of the holy eucharist dear friends if you look at the two it is the same we need to have this walking up to the mountain of the holy eucharist every eucharist may be a time like this we do not have experience 
Make, may our hearts make it a little more longer, longing and fonder to have that experience of the Lord. Jesus chose the three and took them up. And every Eucharist is this being chosen, that I am chosen, you are chosen to experience the Lord and to feel that this experience and it's a mountain experience of prayer and an experience to be alone only with God. I'm sure many other things are important in our life, friends, people, family, but in my inner heart, I am alone with my God. Unless he sustains me, I'm sure there will be moments when we will need him. And every Eucharist, every prayer is this experience to climb up, to experience him. And like Elijah, like Moses, they were there. Every Eucharist is also an experience of the heavenly communion. Saints, people who pray for us, people who are with us, people who support us, and it's a communion. But who sustains me? No saints, no community, no family, but it is my God alone. And that experience is important. And when I woke up, I'm sure every day my experience will truly sustain me. And let's pray that every Eucharist becomes for us an experience of this, so that our days of Calvary will be sustained by the glory of the experience of Mount Tabor. And Tabor is every Holy Eucharist. We pray, dear friends, as we continue in this Holy Eucharist, we are going to be experience the Lord who will be transfigured. His bread, his wine will become transfigured into his own body and blood. Let's pray that this happens in us, though not transfigured, at least be transformed to be Christ-like. We pray for this grace as we take part in the Holy Eucharist. Let us pray, my dear friends, that this sacrifice of mine and yours be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify, O Lord, we pray, these offerings here made to celebrate the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, and by his radiant splendor cleanses from the stains of sin through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just a duty and a salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus our Lord. For he revealed his glory in the presence of the chosen witnesses and filled with the greatest splendor that bodily form which he shares with all humanity, that the scandal of the cross might be removed from the hearts of his disciples, and that he might show how in the body of the whole church to be fulfilled what so wonderfully shone forth first in its head. And so with all the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly here on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts. Heaven is earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. 
and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, Jesus himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Lord of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his blessed coming, we offer you in thanksgiving the holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, the Apostles, St. Anthony, St. John Bosco, and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church here on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, Victor our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained as your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants. Anuj Deka, Rosa Selberis, Karbingar, Edward Shatun, Brother Pacifico, the father of Father Thomas Puduparambil, and all our near and dear ones departed, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who have been pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes for seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days 
that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from all sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. Now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it upon us, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other God's peace. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away all our sins. Blessed are we who are called to receive him. But only say the word. As we receive the body and blood of Jesus, may this altar, may this Eucharist transform us spiritually, sacramentally. May he come into us. May we experience him, the Lord alone in us. May he transform us, his transfigured self. Is calling us to the glory of the heaven. May the Lord heal us, may the Lord transform us. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I am unable at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
What has passed our lips as for the Lord? May we possess in purity of heart that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for all eternity. Let us pray. May the heavenly nourishment we have received, O Lord, we pray, transform us into the likeness of your Son, Jesus, whose radiant splendor you will to make manifest in his glorious transfiguration, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We turn to the Lord with all our prayers and intentions. We remember Braden G. Nonglao, celebrates his birthday. May the Lord bless him, keep him in good health. We remember and pray for all the intentions and good health of Gregory Fangen, Dorethy, Don Lita, Bamon, Susan Teriang, Tilibor Wajri, Mary Kinsaidor, Dakar Tom, Ibanji Kachiing, Litora, the current family. We ask the Lord's anointing hands on them, pray that they be healed and they may experience God's touch and power. We remember and pray for the intentions of Sir Dondori Dakar, Ambrose, City, Leticia and Moses for their studies. We remember the pre novices who are going into the retreat. We remember the college retreat that's coming. We surrender all this before the Lord, their intentions. Let everything be blessed. God's power of anointing, healing, and mercy be on all of us. We remember the departed souls of Brother Pacifico, Edward Sothun, Rosa, Salberis, Kadbungar. Anuj Dekka, the father of Sir Avi Glinto, the father of Father Thomas Puruparambil. Let's bring all these people that the Lord may grant them eternal rest before the Lord. As we turn to the Lord in his mercy, in his power, may the Lord transform us. May we walk up to the Lord every day, that his experience of glory may sustain us in moments of pain, moments of difficulty, and the Lord may transform us from within to be glorified with him one day. We implore his mercy and power. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His Holy Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. 
have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Have mercy on us and the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, God meant for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen for our sins and those of the whole world. Have mercy on us and 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 the whole world. Holy mighty one, holy mighty one. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one. Have mercy on us and the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy mortal one, have mercy on us and the whole world. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water which gush forth in the heart of Jesus, as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you.
Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Blessed and praised be every moment. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. We turn to the Lord with all our prayers, intentions, and implore His mercy and protection as we say, Most merciful and triumphant God, we come to you in our weakness, we come to you in our fear, we come to you with trust, for you alone are our hope. We place before you the disease present in our world. We turn to you in our time of need. Bring wisdom to doctors, give understanding to scientists, and talk caregivers with compassion and generosity. Bring healing to those who are ill, protect those who are most at risk, give comfort to those who are Welcome those who have died in the eternal hope. Stabilize our communities, unite us in our compassion, remove all fear from our hearts, fill us with confidence in your care. Jesus, 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 Amen. Prayer to the Holy Family, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. In you we contemplate the spent of God. To you we turn the cross. Holy Family of Master, grant that our families too may be places of communion. Prayer to the Holy Violence, rejection, and division. May all who have been hurt find very comfort and healing. Holy Family of Nazareth, make us aware of the sacredness of the family and its beauty in God. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, graciously have our prayer. Difference being a first Friday today, I'm sure there will be many of us watching this Holy Mass. Just to remind you once again, on the 21st and 22nd of this month, Saturday, Sunday, we have an online retreat that we conduct. Usually it used to be offline in the college, but because of limitations, our uh, details are here. Kindly say a prayer for us so that this becomes truly an experience for all to feel God's love and God's care. You can pass this information around. It is open to all. We have tied up with all the schools and colleges in town around. They for the Catholic children to attend. Can you say pray so that becomes an experience of God's mercy and love. Master Center, let's go in God's grace. Thanks be to God. 